Mark Duane here from MarkDuane.com and welcome to my Pinnacle Review. Mark Dwayne here from MarkDwayne.com. This is my Pinnacle Review. And we're in the members area and we're on the dashboard. And we're going to come back here. But before we do, we're going to take a look at the sales page. So this is the sales page for Pinnacle. And what the sales page says is, are you ready for one of the biggest opportunities of 2022? Brand new middleman app generates us a passive $795.10 every 24 hours on complete autopilot. So now we're gonna go back to the members area and they're saying that with this method, you can make $795.10 by using this method. Well, chances are you're probably not going to make that much, but with anything on the internet, you can make income passively if you work at it. So I just want you to be aware of that. So now I'm going to go through the rest of the demonstration of Pinnacle, and it starts out with the training videos, which I really like that because then you don't have any chance of messing up if you watch these videos. So in these videos, if you push this little what is drop down, it's got a series of the different videos. Just want to show you those. And I am going to play one of these videos. And that is what drop servicing is. Because that's the idea behind Pinnacle is drop servicing. You're like a middleman for uh, freelancers. So I'm going to play this video. So then you have the best understanding of what drop servicing is and what the concept behind Pinnacle is. So I'm going to play that now and then I'll be back and then I'll go through the rest of the demonstration. So before I jump right into the training, it is really important that you understand the term drop servicing. So what is drop servicing? Drop servicing basically means that you sell services and high income skills to clients without fulfilling them yourself. So you'd rather outsource the work to a freelancer that then completes the project while you're only in charge of selling it to a client. Therefore, you don't need any special skills for this business while you can still offer all kinds of services to clients. So it is basically selling services without doing the work yourself, but having freelancers do the work on your behalf. And you will basically be the middleman to bring in the client having this work done by someone else. So now that you understand the term drop servicing, I want to introduce to you the top three niches for drop servicing. The first one is copywriting. So for copywriting, there is always a lot of demand. You can write sales copies for businesses, ad copies. You can write entire eBooks, social media copies, and you can even write email swipes for online entrepreneurs. So copywriting is definitely a very good service to consider as there is a ton of demand as all kinds of businesses are constantly promoting and launching new products. Even radio stations need written scripts for their radio shows. Online marketers need to send out emails all the time. People are launching eBooks on Amazon KDP. Businesses are making a lot of money with their social media campaigns, with paid advertisement, Facebook ads, and they all need copy for this. And this makes copywriting a really good niche for drop servicing. Next up, we've got digital marketing. So digital marketing is also very good because businesses need their SEO set up the right way. So search engine optimization. If you want to rank a blog article or your website on the main search engine such as Google or Yahoo, you need your SEO set up the right way and you need to feed the search engines with content. This actually combines the copywriting with the digital marketing. Like for SEO, you need copy 
and you need to optimize website or blog article so that they can rank high on search engines. There is always going to be a lot of demand for SEO. Then there is influencer marketing. Again, if you want to sell any kind of product online, then influencer marketing is huge because it will give your product a boost. It will bring your product in front of many people who are interested in what you're offering. Then social media marketing is huge as well. There is always going to be a lot of demand for this too. Again, because social media is huge and many companies out there are looking to promote their products on social media. Therefore, there is a lot of demand for drop servicing so you can find someone who runs social media campaigns for clients you will bring in the client and then you will pocket the difference and there is also paid advertising such as facebook instagram tiktok ads there is also always going to be a lot of demand for paid advertising as well and this is what makes it very good for drop servicing and probably the best niche for drop servicing is programming and tech because this is currently the biggest growing industry as most of the big businesses nowadays need software. They cannot run without software. Amazon can't make sales without a point of sale software. Burger King can't make sales without a database framework. So all of this is based on software. So nowadays, every big business has software running 24 seven and these companies don't work without software so this makes programming and tech one of the best services to drop service so you can sell services like web programming and development mobile app development e-commerce development so setting up online stores for clients. Yeah, really anything else in coding and software development. There are obviously many more services that you can sell as a drop servicer. These are just the three main niches that I recommend, but you can tap into so many different niches, but these are the ones that I recommend because there is always going to be a lot of demand and prices are comparably high. So you will outsource the work to someone else, meaning that you won't need any skills and you will pocket the difference. But as you will find someone who will do it for a much lower price than you will actually charge your client, there is always going to be a big earning potential for you. Okay, that was the uh, what is drop servicing uh, video that's in the training. And I played that so you, then you'd have the best understanding of what this program is all about. So now I'm going to go back up here. And the first step you do is you go to find. And what this does is it helps you find different uh, niches that are popular by doing a trend finder. It uses like Google Trends to help you find what is trending. And what I did is I copied um, voiceover because a lot of times people are looking for voiceover artists. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste that in here. And then you got some different options. You can search worldwide, you can search by country. You can also type in like United States in here. In the United States, United Kingdom, the United Arab Emirates. So we'll put that in there. And then you got uh, 12 months. You got these different uh, time, just like Google Trends, if you've ever been in Google Trends. And then you got different categories, all categories. And you got a few different categories here. If I'm going a little fast, but you got quite a number of different categories if you want to narrow it down anymore. So you got some a lot of options here. And then you got web search. You got image search, news search, Google shopping, YouTube search. So you got some different options in here. So I'm just going to keep it the way it is. United States, 12 months, all categories. And then you push search. And this helps you find an area there. You can make a drop shipping uh, or drop servicing uh, 
website around this because it does give you the ability to make a website, which we're going to go into next. And then this is what it came up with. So you're looking for like keywords. So Atlanta voiceover studio. And this is the value of the uh, keyword. Arby's voiceover guy. So I'll just give you some ideas on what's trending. And you're going to have to do several searches in order to find the right keyword for your um, what you're looking for. It says voiceover jobs. And the value is 50%. But anyway, that's how it works. You've got like a trend finder in here. And once you find what you're going to make your uh, drop service about, you can uh, go over here to the build. And then it's got two options. It's got name finder and website builder. And the name finder is to help you find a name of your business because a lot of times it's hard to find what you want to name your business because you want to be able to name it something that's not only keyword friendly, which is going to get searched, but you want to find something that's brandable. So you go to uh, name finder. And you can find different names, like website names for a website. So we'll just uh, paste this in here, voiceover. And then you got .com, .net, .org, .info, .mobi, .biz, uh, .xyz. And you can check these if you don't want them. But we'll just generate. This is for demo purposes anyway. And this is where it came up with all the uh, uh, dot coms and dot biz, dot net uh, websites that are available. And you just search through these and you find one that will help uh, get you the best search rankings and is catchy and brandable. Voices over dot XYZ. I don't like the XYZ. I like dot com or dot net myself but anyway you just search through these and you find one and it gives you the ability to buy the domain so anyway that's just going to take some footwork on your part like i said this is just for demo purposes anyway so then you go back over here to build once you find one and then you build the website go to the website builder push the tab there and in order to um create a website you'll push this button here but these are the websites that's been created so you create a new website you got different templates to choose from and you got some categories here so you just search one search here until you find one what i meant to say i like this one here so i'm just going to push on that and then we're going to name it um we'll just We'll just call it Mark Dwayne's voiceover. And then you just push create. Okay, everything on here is completely editable. Everything. So you're going to need some information and order to create your website but it does have some pretty nice templates where you can make some really nice websites everything is completely editable and if you don't like it you can go back and choose a different one so anyway what you got is over here is you got the layout you can change the layout row container alert divider divider container you can go to the top, uh, after you look at that, you can go to the topography, table, header image, or page header, I mean, a link, badge, unordered list, paragraph, marked text, heading, definition list. Okay. And then you got shadow. You can change the shadow, the box, the text. We got some different options on here. I'm going to move this one up, and then we're going to go. The next one was padding. 
it's just some different things you can do on the website. You can adjust this stuff. So if I make this, see the padding, how it's getting smaller. So anyway, um, we'll go back up here. And then you got margin. There again, you can make margins bigger. And, we'll, and then you got the border. <coughs> Excuse me. Different options on the border. Change the color, solid, dash. Got, got a lot of different options on here. I'm not going to be able to touch on everything. But it does have a pretty nice uh, website builder in here. So anyway, border roundness. I don't think I've selected anything. We don't have a border on there. But anyway, you got some different options on here. I just wanted to show you that. This is just for demo purposes anyway. So over here, you got layout, elements. Can add elements on here. Um, inspector pages and then this is a great feature right here because then you can get the html code so if you do this then you can get the code on the website so anyway let's go back oh i just close that so anyway that was uh this is the website here and once you're happy with it or not happy with it you can always edit it So if I'm not happy with something on here, I can edit it. I just wanted to show you that. So I'm going to go back. I pushed the wrong button there earlier. I'm sorry. And then you got, um, you can preview the page. You can download the page or you can delete the page. So that's how the website builder works. You're just going to have to take some footwork to uh, put in the information, choose the right template, give it the right name, stuff like that. And then once you get this all set up, then you got this advertise. So you got two different places where you can advertise. Miracle Z is what it's called. You'll have to register account and then log in. I'm not registered, so I can't log in. And then you got Sparks. Same thing. You got to register and then you can log in. I can go to the registration page so you can see what that's like, but really nothing there so anyway that is the basics behind this and then down here um, you got upgrades so you can upgrade your account um, I recommend that you go through the funnel because then you get access to the down sales save you a little bit of money um, and then you got support if you have a problem so that is the basics behind pinnacle so if it looks like something that you're interested in or you're interested in my hand-picked bonuses, all you gotta do is click the link down below this video, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, purchase the program, then you'll get access to Pinnacle and my hand-picked bonuses. And if you like my videos, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, push that notification bell, make a comment. Thank you for watching, stay safe, I'll see you next time. Mark Dwayne here again, and thank you for taking the time to watch my Pinnacle review. And if you're interested in Pinnacle or you're interested in my hand-picked bonuses, all you got to do is click the link down below this video, go to my bonus page, push the button on my bonus page, purchase the program, then you'll get access to Pinnacle and my hand-picked bonuses. But I just wanted to take a minute to say thank you for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.